the third window, the third patch window, which is S9. Now, if we have a bit of a careful look at this, you'll see that um, what we're seeing here is how the DMX is actually getting out of the console. My console I've got here in front of me now has only two uh, DMX outputs. So you can see that route number one is spitting out live data and it's giving me the first 512 channels. That's wonderful. What I'll do is if I take the second one and I change disabled, I just clicked on that twice and turned that into live data, then now my second universe of DMX is coming out. If I wanted, I could alter this so that my second universe was actually spitting out the first universe instead of uh, the second one. So that now I have two DMX ports on the back of my console spitting out the same thing. Maybe I want to turn off the second output and uh, turn off the first output and just use the second output. This is where you do it. Okay, so I'll put this back to 2.1 because I'll probably want two universes in a little while. And uh, let's see, 2.512 for you and 2.1 for you. They're back in the second universe. This is also where you would do patching for Ethernet distribution of your DMX signal. Now conveniently, um, as part of the default, route number five, if you enable that little uh, uh, guy there, that will give you the first four universes of the console spitting out on ShowNet. And so that's literally all you have to do. And now if you plug in your ShowNet nodes into your Ethernet port via your network uh, distribution system, you will get everything you need. There are other protocols that you can um, uh, play with here. If I just hit this protocol button down here, you'll see at the moment in this current version of software, I've got um, obviously the DMX outputs is the first option there. ShowNet, well, it's made by Strand, so of course it's going to be there. E1.31, which is the new ACN uh, protocol, which is supported by this console. And Passport, the native uh, uh, Ethernet uh, system by, made by another manufacturer. Color Kinetics, another Philips brand product. Um, you can actually talk to their LED product directly out of this console without using their um, uh, Color Kinetics control systems. And of course, ArtNet, very important. There is absolutely no reason why you can't use multiple things at the same time. In fact, I've done an installation where I needed to output both ArtNet and ShowNet at the same time so that the ShowNet could go to ShowNet nodes, some N21 nodes, so that I can spit uh, DMX out onto the studio floor and ArtNet went to some dimmers in a dimmer room somewhere else. And that works beautifully. Okay, so for the purposes of today, I'm going to switch off this. Oh, while I'm here, I should actually just talk about the other options in here. Really cool. You can actually um, send blind data out of a port, be it a DMX port or a, um, a ShowNet port or whatever. And what that means is you can preview things in your blind display of your screen using, for example, a 3D emulator software, and then... Uh, send that effect live to the stage by spitting it out your live output. Very, very useful. 